evening. Uh, it's night time at work. We're going back to day here uh, soon. This is actually my last night on nights. And uh, they're going to put me from nights to uh, feeding, the daytime feeding the fish. Comes with a nice little pay jump, so. But uh, anyway, so the, 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 the school shooting thing, man, there's like, uh, I think three nine year olds got killed, and this the school shooter, uh, the girl, it was a girl, what I understand. It was kind of confusing at first, because, I mean, I looked at the picture and some articles were referring to the person as a male, some as a female. Uh, so I wasn't sure, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's a female named Audrey Hale, who is a uh, transgender. All right. Um, uh, anyway, I noticed that the, the someone left me now saying, bringing up the, the point to where, okay, this girl was able to buy her guns legally despite being seen for her mental health issues. Yeah, well, okay. Well, first off, is she transgender and going through, uh, going through a transition and she had, definitely would have mental health issues. All right. In fact, if you, you, do, you do some research on this stuff, you, you see that you cannot actually do a medical trans begin a medical transition without seeing a mental health professional. So the fact that she was seeing a mental health professional, okay, well, and she was able to buy these guns, and I guess you know, and to me it seems like the left are trying to, you know, they can't say it's a white supremacist, they can't say it's a Trump MAGA supporter, or you know, or a MAGA Trump supporter. Uh, you know, they, they they can't push any of those narratives. So what can we do? We'll, we'll go back. We'll go back to guns. All right. This person shouldn't have been able to buy their guns legally because they because they were seeing a mental health, uh, someone for her mental health. Uh, well, okay. All right. Let's just say let's play along for a minute. Ban everyone who's transgender from owning a gun. Because, I mean, every, if you're transgender and you're transitioning or you want to transition and, and you want to, you, to, to go through that process, you're going to see a mental health professional. To medically transition, part of that tra part of that entails seeing a mental health professional. So, okay, well, this person, the left wants to bring up the point where the, the, you know, that this person sh bought their guns legally was able to buy their, able to buy her guns legally despite the fact that she was seeing a mental health professional or had been seen by a mental health professional or had mental health issues, take your pick. Okay, well, that's every transgender. Ban them all ban all transgender if that if that's gonna be if the left wants to push that as a standard and say and and say, Well, we need gun control because this person shouldn't have been allowed to buy her guns, the guns she used Well Ban all transgenders from owning from buying a firearm. If you're transgender and you own a firearm, well, confiscate them. Person shouldn't have a gun. Have a, shouldn't be allowed to have a gun because they because at one point they saw a mental health professional. Now, don't get me wrong. We do a little more research into this story. There are other red flags too. Um, like for instance, the person apparently had display or had indicated uh, that they were considering suicide uh, you know but once again I mean there I mean the, the, the suicide rate is fairly high among trans people uh, you know you know so, so the, the bottom line is you know the person was gonna do what she was gonna do. I mean, there should, it, should, it should have been some help there somewhere along the way, but I mean, to try to, the left, you know, 
try to blame you. Quit trying to blame the damn gun. Alright. And first of all, you're using that as a backup. Because you know, if you're on the left, you would have preferred it. You would have preferred, you sick bastards, would have preferred it been a white supremacist. Somebody in a KKK sheet. You're wearing one of them damn sheets that they wear. You know. Or, or, or somebody in a MAGA hat. You know. Like that, like the like the people who uh who the, who committed that horrible hate crime against uh, Jesse Smollett or Smollett, yeah, yeah, however you pronounce the damn dude's name. Oh uh, yeah, you know. But no, you couldn't get that. You couldn't get no no sheet wearing KKK dude. You couldn't get no MAGA Republicans. Oh, it was a, nope. It was a transgender person. Yeah. So, so where you gotta go to? You gotta go to the guns. Okay, well, this person bought her guns legally, just even though she was seeing someone for mental health. Oh, uh, yeah, you know. Ban all, uh, play that logic all the way through. Ban all transgenders from owning firearms. Yeah. Or you could just be like, okay, she was responsible for what she did. You know, the gun was just a tool. It was just a tool. As common sense, you know, should should lead people to believe. I mean, a gun does not kill people. Guns don't fucking kill people. The the the, the guy who who killed all those people in that parade, he used an SUV. You know, should we ban those too? I mean. Apply some common sense and hold people responsible for what they do. I mean, I don't know, and sometimes you know, bad things happen like that. You know, it'd be nice if this girl had got the help she so clearly needed. Uh, you know, but there are a lot of people out there who have guns in this country. I, I'm one of them, and uh, yeah. I ain't, I haven't killed anyone with my gu- with my guns. I hadn't committed any crimes with my gun. I'm not even that good at killing birds with my guns, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, I just I, I wish left would get off this, this trying to push this down narrative. I mean, it's just push narratives all the time. It's disgusting. Push narratives. Uh, it's like you know trying to. To, 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 to say oh, the, tra- the transgender transgender are the victims here not not the people that she killed hey she's the real victim right transgender people in general they're all the vic- they're all victims man they're some of the most transgender people some of the most privileged people in this country it's just disgusting the way the left does this stuff is disgusting Anyway, I'm going to get off here before I get to rambling too much and say something that's going to piss somebody off. Oh, wait a minute. Get pissed. I don't care. <laughs>